Thank you so much for attending my presentation about Pokemon balancing that makes me sad. Today I'm going to be talking about some odd choices Game Freak made when creating Pokemon. This won't be lore based at all, it's just mechanics. First we'll look at Pyroar and Keldeo. Recently-ish, I made a video that mentioned Napoleon that this is kind of a follow-up to and how Pokemon kind of messed it up. This was done by cursing it with Defiant instead of Competitive, buffing the wrong attacking stat. But that's not the only time when it's happened. Pyroar is a really famous example. In terms of offensive abilities, Moxie is super strong, boosting attack when you take a kill. It lets Sweeper snowball really quickly like Gyarados. Pyroar also got Moxie, but unfortunately doesn't work. While special attack is 1 to 9, attack is a measly 68. Safe to say Pyroar doesn't use the ability ever, instead running the usually worse Nerve. Keldeo is another victim of this design decision with its only ability being justified, being strong in physical mons. But with the special attack nearly double its physical attack, this once niche ability turns literally useless. In fact, it's basically negative because now you take increased damage from foul play each turn. It's a pretty whack choice and does hurt its viability. Keldeo would really like an actual ability. When I was a kid, I thought that a Pokemon's weight didn't matter. It's gotta be a cosmetic thing, just for lore, right? For the most part, that's true, but it can have some in-battle effects. One of the most prevalent is Heavy Slam, a Steel-type move that deals damage based on the weight difference between the user and the target. This can max out at 120 and is very strong. Low Kick and Grass Knot are others. They're kinda like Heavy Slam, but instead deal damage based solely on the opponent's weight. Metagross actually has an ability that impacts its weight, Light Metal. This cuts it in half and seems like it could have a purpose. While Heavy Slam would get less powerful, it could eat Low Kicks for days. Almost always worse than the other options, but it has a technical role. However, it's actually completely irrelevant. It turns out that even when its weight is halved, Metagross is still in the highest weight bracket for these moves. Thus, there isn't a real use case. Heavy Slam is weaker, those moves aren't any better to take, and nothing else happens. I don't fucking get it, dude. This last one is less objective and more something that I've been frustrated with for a long time, but I still think it fits. In Gen 2, with the introduction of health items, Game Freak felt that some of the more bad Pokemon deserve some help. The prime example of this is Marowak. When holding the Thick Club, it gets its raw attack stat doubled. This instantly gets the ground type over 500 attack, which is Mega Mewtwo X territory, but that's not the only Pokemon to be given a signature item. Farfetch got the stick, and with even higher base attack after a buff in Gen 6, it looks super deadly. Well, it would be super deadly. In a really depressing twist of fate, the stick doesn't double attack, it doesn't even increase it. Instead, Farfetch gets a two-stage increase to its crit chance. This is way worse, being very inconsistent. The coin flip you need to deal double damage, or 1.5 times after Gen 5, makes it rough to run. To be clear, this item isn't worthless. Farfetch can get some use out of it alongside Slash, Leaf Blade, and other high crit rate moves to make it guaranteed, but this is still a far cry from the whack. Getting increased damage sometimes as long as you use the right moves isn't nearly as strong as a static buff to everything. It's unfortunate too, if it had an actually solid effect, Farfetch could have seen some real use, but it wasn't meant to be. In conclusion, Game Freak is no stranger to hurting a Pokemon's viability with just one choice. But as much as I'm poking fun at them, I have to be clear that these gripes don't ruin the game at all. For every poor decision they make, there are so many other cool things that are done and added that make the game much more fun. Thank you so much for watching.